Why has data engineering suddenly exploded in popularity? Going back probably as far as around 2011, you will find the term data engineering starting to pop up. Back in 2013, Maxime of Airflow fame went from being a BI engineer to a data engineer. And suddenly you look up on Google Trends uh, and just in general articles and job descriptions, the term data engineer seems to start to explode along with obviously fangs because that's where arguably this term really started just the term of course the work that data engineers do and have been doing has been going on for a far longer time than just the last decade it's been going on probably for the last three maybe four but back then it was more in the domain of what we call it it essentially would manage almost everything in terms of data. They would basically manage it in some databases, maybe do some data warehousing. And data at this point was viewed more as a byproduct of the work that you did and wasn't really utilized for analysis or insights as heavily. Of course, there's always been insights and analysis. Again, even data science really didn't start gaining popularity till about 2008. And so that's kind of where this all started. The need for data engineers arose with the increasing amount of data as well as the increasing demand for data. Not only was data starting to blow up because of things like mobile technology and IoT, but also people were starting to demand data. They wanted to know answers more. And this wasn't just top level board members now, this was directors and managers wanting to know this information. So although some of you might think that data engineering only became popular after Zach Wilson posted his salary on LinkedIn, which of course I'm sure that increased the popularity, it's honestly been growing for a long time. Back in 2017, there was an article about the rise of the data engineer, followed very promptly by the death of it. But the point is the concept of data engineering has been around for at least a decade. And the popularity I think that we've mostly seen has really started to rise in the last three or four years. But why is that? Well, a lot of this has been driven by demand side economics. That is to say that companies want data engineers and they're willing to pay for it. Just look at this article from Airbnb, where they talked about the fact that, you know, originally they had software engineers and data scientists building their data pipelines and quickly figured out that they needed someone to actually own these pipelines because what would happen is data scientists and software engineers would build it, but it was merely again, a byproduct for them. It wasn't their main goal. And so oftentimes these uh, pipelines and tables would kind of be orphaned and the data would degrade and essentially maybe to some degree go bad. So they quickly realized they needed more than just quickly put together pipelines, but they needed robust developed systems and data models that represented their business and someone to manage and own that. And thus data engineering has kind of grown in popularity at Airbnb. Another factor is the increasing complexity of data. Anything that you see in an app or any functionality that's provided, oftentimes directors and, and product managers want to know things about that functionality. They want to know if people are using this app. They want to know if someone, you know, signed up for a certain a product or feature, whether that was in store, out of store, on the app, all of these things add far more complexity to what used to be very simple transactions. So we've gone beyond just representing a basic transaction. Now, even a basic transaction can have multiple nested uh, points and features inside of it that can tell you so much about what has occurred. With that comes the need for more complex modeling and robust systems, as well as needing to keep up to date with what is happening in terms of the event side of applications so that everyone when they ask these questions has an answer. Thus, more complex data, as well as the five V's of big data, which is further exasperating the problem. You know, if you have more data that's got more complex variety, that has, you know, larger volume, all of this requires more and more nuanced understanding of how to actually manage this data in such a way that can be then serviced to data scientists and data analysts in such a way that is easy for them to work with. Which leads to the third point, which is the increased demand and value that data can provide a company that can implement a well-developed BI or ML strategy. Now you can't just build a machine learning model or a BI dashboard without a very important component, clean and accurate data. Meaning for all the value that machine learning models can provide, they're only of value if the data that's being provided is well clean and easy to work with. If it's not, your machine learning engineers are gonna spend a ton of time. Just earlier this week, I was talking to Chad Sanderson, if you're at my YouTube Live, where he brought up that fact where a data scientist kind of created some fuzzy logic to join some data together because they didn't have a clean data model. And instead, they had to kind of do this more complex route of using some sort of ML model that took months to create, which if you want to translate that, 
means sixty, seventy thousand dollars just to kind of make this thing work. Like, where, according to Chad, it could have been fixed through a combination of better data modeling and communication with the application team to understand how all this data fit together. There are many reasons that data engineering is growing in popularity. Starting with fangs that really started popularizing the concept of data science, many companies kind of jumped on the bandwagon and tried building their data science platforms and their data science teams. And eventually they quickly figured out they needed clean data. I think this is what has driven a lot of the popularity for data engineering in the last few years because companies have built out these data science teams and they're quickly realizing that they need to give them a firm foundation to actually build all of their other layers upon. And the truth is many companies are still trying to figure out how to do that best. So if you're out there wondering, should you become a data engineer? I think there's still plenty more work to do, at least for the next decade. So I wouldn't get too concerned if that's where you're going into and you're thinking that the party is over. I think there's plenty of work that still needs to get done, especially when we have all of these future migrations for whatever data storage system comes next. Thanks guys all for watching and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.